Dollar videos for color. Hi guys, it's Dev, uh, the modern colorist. Just waiting for a few to come in. Um, can anybody hear me? Hopefully we're not having any uh, sound issues. Can somebody post a chat to see that you can hear me? It says there's 30 people in the house. Uh, can everybody hear me? Uh, if there is a problem, can somebody send me a message? Um, there's, there's nothing on the... Uh... Ah, there we go. Ah, that's excellent. Thank you. I'd I'd, uh, I'd clicked on the wrong button, guys. Um, so let me just go through everybody. I like to I like to say hello to everyone. Um, so let's get back to the top. Wow, Shannon, that's the first. Wow. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Thank you very much. And that's a lovely thing to say. Thank you, Shannon. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Morticia. Hello, B. Bright. Hello, Brittany. Lovely to see you. Kim T. Mod salute. Uh, Susie. Hi, May. Hello, Grace. Uh, I'm going to go through the books in a minute, uh, Grace. Good evening, colourful cat lady. How are you? Hello, Susan. Shannon again, hi. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Kiwi Mum. Hello, Nicola. How are you doing? Hope everything's okay in the NZ. Mia Bear, hi. Hi, Rona. Hello, Nana. Oh, thanks, May. Yeah, uh, I'm just going through the list now. Susan, hi. Becky Z, hello. Lovely to have you. Kimberly, how are you doing? Oh, that's good, Grace. Thank you. Yeah, I hadn't clicked uh, enable live chat. We're just showing uh, chat as a blank. Hello, Yvonne. Hello, Candy. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Ashley. And so we go through. Uh, hello, Rona. I hope I've caught everybody, guys. Kim, uh, living good. Hi. Hello, Christine. Glad you can join. Uh, I'll just get to the bottom of the list, guys. If I have missed anybody, I do apologize. Uh, chat's going really quick. Uh, we've got, uh, hello, Sharon. Yeah, we've got 45 in already, guys. So um, I'm just trying to keep up. Oh, Caroline, hello, my good friend. Yeah, Christine, I'm, I'm going to go through that in a second. I'm not going to go into massive detail, but I'm just going to explain uh, the delay. Hello, Lizette. I would never miss you if I saw you. <laughs> thanks for coming. Uh, thanks for modding Kim and May and Christine. Lovely to have you all here. Some lovely, familiar faces. Hello, Terry. My pen pal, how's things? <clears throat> okay, guys. Uh, 
First of all, I've just had a, a bit of a police incident uh, whereby I, I had to uh, I had to deal with them, and it's just delayed me somewhat today. Uh, so I do apologise, but I didn't really want to give it um, a miss, if that makes any sense. Hello, Pickle, my old Sparkle Pop. How are you doing? Hello, Gio Bark. Welcome. Welcome from NYC. So, uh, guys, I've got I've got a few books to show you. Um, there's going to be a live giveaway tonight. Um, well, I've actually got a couple that I can give away, but I'm going to save one for every week for the next few weeks. Uh, but tonight, uh, I'll be giving away uh, a brand new copy of Mythographic by Joseph Katimbang. Uh, and I think we'll just do the random uh, number.org thing. Hello, Erin. Lovely of you to join. Hey, Janice from Cleveland's. Uh, as soon as you write that down, it melts me heart. Uh, so I'm going to give that away tonight, guys. Uh, these have been donated by uh, a special person who doesn't want to be named. Uh, I have got several others, uh, which I'm going to show you. Um, and then I'll do it weekly rather than just give them all away in one night. Hello, Dorothy. Lovely to have you with us. Yeah, it's, it's it's a nice book. I have I have this book, and um, you know it, I'll go through it shortly. But it, it's got it's got a lot of plus points to it, um, you know, as as well as the negative. Hello, hello, Mama, Alejandra Lopez. Lovely to have you here. I've not seen you before. Hello, Christy. Uh, we're soon getting up there, guys. We're on fifty nine now. Um, Hello, Vin Pip. How you doing? <laughs> uh, just trying to get through everybody, and I like to do a few uh, minutes prior. Hello, Christiane. I haven't pickled. Uh, no. Uh, hello, Pat. Randy, hi. Uh, what I'm going to do, guys, is, is go through uh, the books that have been donated uh, to give away on the channel. Uh, and then, like I said, I'm going to do one every week live so that, uh, you know, it's summer every week for a few weeks. And um, good evening, Christian. And, uh, oh, well, it's lovely to have you, Alexandra, Alejandra even, Lopez. Uh, the rest of the uh, stream and my mods will make you more than welcome. If everyone can say hello to Alejandra Lopez, please, guys. Thank you, Christine. Hello, Barbara. Hello, Brittany. Yeah, I thought that, Brittany, rather than just lump it all in one week, it, it, you know, it enables, uh, so, uh, not only does it, you know, split it up, but it enables different people to win as well. Um, but like I said, these books were very kindly donated and uh, I've, I've been asked to keep it anonymous, so that's fine. Um, one thing I will tell you guys, I have managed to put everything in the description as far as all the books. Now, what I've managed to do is with the influencer program, I've managed to get uh, a lot of reductions on the books. So if if it transpires that you use the link I've created, uh, you'll get a few pounds off um, the links that I have provided for you. Um, and then because it's uh, Feather Castell month, uh, there is also a sale on at the Polychromo, so I've banged them on as well uh, in case anybody wants to get some. Ah, uh, piss it. Visitors will have to go. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Nicola. <laughs> uh, the Yorkshireman takes priority, I guess. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, the, the Snapchat was just super. Uh, thank you, Shannon. Uh, uh, it's only the second one I've ever had, and um, yeah, it's more than a more than a big surprise hello noel yes yeah, same here samuel <laughs> i had told it back for a minute because i don't think they use use it the same way we do okay christine can i have um, can i have a strong one with a, just uh, a single brown sugar please <laughs> now i'll have to make do with this kind of uh, diet coke that i've got my mate tony's just brought me a load of uh, groceries Yeah, Shannon. 
Uh, and that's because you've been uh, messaging me, so obviously you know, but I'm not going to go into specifics of it on here. Uh, I wouldn't even give them the time of day to uh, expose them. Hello, Diana. Uh, I'm drinking a bang. <laughs> Able to rejoice. Uh, hello. Uh, thank you for coming in. Uh, ice fine. Uh, just a bit bruised. Oh, Chewy's upstairs in the dishwasher, Nana. Uh, I, I used him earlier on today. So, uh, yeah, so I've got a Diet Coke um, just to keep me going for however long we last tonight. Okay, guys, let's kick off. All right, so the first book, this is, this is not one of the... Um, I think there's two in here that's not been donated that I've bought myself um, to enable, uh, sorry, for, for my own personal uh, collection. So I, I'll go through uh, this one first. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Uh, this is the Planet of the Apes coloring book. Um, uh, it's a, it's the same size book as uh, World of Flowers, that kind of thing. Hello, Deborah. Nice of you to join us. Thank you. Um, now, it's it's got the, the smooth kind of silky uh, cover um, that you could possibly colour. It has left scope for that, but I, I don't think I would uh, I would do that. The spine of the book is, uh, is very, very good quality. And as you open the first page, guys, um, let's just keep that straight so that we know. It's made by Boom Studios. And um, hello, Daisy. The paper thickness, as you can hear, is absolutely, surprisingly excellent. I, I knew it would be a good quality book, because I can tell by looking, but um, the paper is better than I thought. Okay, so the, 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 um, the designer of the book is Cara Leopard, um, and it also gives a mention to uh, Nicole Spiegel, her as a contributor, along with Ma uh, Carlos Magno. Uh, but it, it, the, the, the paper quality is absolutely immense. Um, as you can see here, guys, the first image is is kind of, uh, it's very heavy lined art, but, but also it's got um, enough to colour. I cannot actually, um, I cannot believe the quality of, of this paper. I'm actually quite shocked on how good it is. Uh, it's so far it's single sided. We have these lovely uh, kind of skulls on here uh, that kind of just prevent it from being uh, blemished as, as a blank page. Hello, Katrina. Ah, <laughs> Nikki, NYC. Finally, yes. How are you, my friend? I uh, hope that you're okay. So uh, as you can see, guys, as, as we go through it, I'm not going to do a massive flip through, but it, the, it's, it's variant enough is this book. Uh, it starts showing you a bit of a comic strip to start with, uh, and this would be beautiful coloured because you could use anything on here. Like I said, the paper is immense. You could use markers, you could use pencil, you could use watercolour, and you could combine as well. I don't think there'd be a, a, an issue at all. Um, these would be excellent to practice skin tones on because we have several uh, gradients of, of different skinned apes. Um, just on that, while we're here, I enjoy. Um, I spoke to Albert yesterday, and um, I'll be getting uh, two sets of... Uh, the skin tones uh, as soon as they land in the UK. Uh, they, these will all, uh, uh, that's what's reminded me because obviously the darker, the darker set would be, uh, would be excellently applied to kind of these kind of uh, images. Um, and I'm just waiting for the official photo. Uh, the one that's online at the moment in the Canadian Amazon is not going to be the one that's on the, on the packaging. Uh, but obviously, because they've managed to get there and get through customs first, uh, they've just released them. But they're, they're not that; it's not actually that packaging uh, cover. So then we move away from the comic strip guys into single images, and again, 
I, I cannot believe how good quality this, these uh, these images are as far as the paper's concerned. Uh, I don't know if this chap is called Erko. It seems to ring a bell with me. I remember Erko, and I remember another one called, was it Julian? Or something similar to that. Um, yeah, Charlton Eston, Deborah. Yeah, I remember. That's the ones I, I kind of remember growing up watching. Uh, there was there, there was an ape called uh, Erko, and I'm sure there was one called Julian or something similar, but I'd know it if I saw it. And then, of course, you've got further images, and then you've got a bit. I mean, this is beautiful. Uh, you've got like in in the forefront here, you've got one of the leaders uh, who I think is possibly Urko, like I said. Then you've got these. Um, uh, let me think. Are the orangutan uh, as opposed to the gorillas? Um, and then in the background, you've got all this city in smoke, uh, and you've got the cliffs here. So you've got all this effect in the background. Which would lend itself to uh, to excellent background colouring for those experts. Ju Julius, yeah, that was it. Yeah, I knew it was something like that. Um, he was. Am I right in thinking that he was uh, a, quite a nice character, wasn't he? Um, as opposed to Erko being one of those um, those badasses. So. And then this is a beautiful one, guys. Uh, it, obviously, there's a, there's a speech bubble in this one. Uh, it just says, take your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty ape. Um, which I don't think is uh, very, very nice. But there you go. But I'm sure this one is Erko here. Um, and like I say, you've got all these uh, different complexions that you could use the skin tones for when they come out. It's just actually timed itself really well. Uh and then you've got this probably was going to be Charlton Heston. You've got the um, the rescued woman here, and then you've got the castle in the background. Uh, I absolutely adore this book. Um, it's not for everyone. I know that people don't obviously like uh, you know heavy line art, but I do. I, I, the reason why I do is because when it's finished, you know it it really does look the business. And then we move back to a slight uh, comic strip again. This one's a beautiful image. It's so well well drawn, um, you know. And then, of course, on top of that, you've got you know the scope to do all the sea and the cliffs in the background. You could use that as muted. And then you've got the main characters in the front here. Uh, I can't remember this guy's name, but I think did he have like yellow or gold clothing? This guy. I seem to remember that it was like a, almost like Roman tunic kind of uh, thing. Um, I've left a link, Christy, in the description. Uh, I got it from Amazon. Uh, and I don't know if you caught the beginning of the stream. I've left, uh, I've put the influencer program with it, and I've got a few quid off each book uh, if you use the links to my stream, uh, from my stream. Uh, it, it does earn me a few pence per book, uh, which obviously goes straight back into the channel, as you know, guys. It's not used for anything else, but it does help uh, towards the costing of everything. Um, and then, of course, we move on. Uh, we've got a big double pager here, which is uh, which we kind of knew with the the, uh, the background of this one. This is just a huge war scene, uh, fight scene. Um, very meticulous in its detail, uh, but, you know, it's definitely something that would, uh, I think watercolour would go well with this one, um, and so on. Then you've got uh, further images here. Um, I really do like this one. Uh, I think that's Erko again. And, and then, of course, it, it's kind of showing uh, his train of thought at the moment of this particular isolated moment where he's he's obviously thinking about capturing uh, certain prisoners uh, and I seem to remember he was the um, I don't know Tisha, no I, I have got um, uh, I, I think if you use a link and just put it to your basket you can use it anywhere uh, Christine I think so um Roddy McDowell played Cornelius in the movies, then his own son named Caesar. 
Gallen, that's that. Gallen, Galen, sorry, Galen, wasn't it? Yes, Galen. I, you brought it back there for me, Sharon. So, um, yeah, <laughs> lol, me. <mate. laughs> so, uh, I'm not going to go to every page. The reason why I wanted to show you the first few pages was just to give you a flavour of the book, really. Um, this, this, it's absolutely wonderful. I, I, I knew I wanted it because it was a childhood favourite of mine. But it's 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 exceeded uh, my expectations. If I'm, if I'm totally honest with you, the images and the the quality is is something else. I really like this image. I think that uh, you know it could be it could be uh, very very good to use multimedia on this page. And one of the things. Uh, that strikes me about this book is is not only is it unique, um, but but it's 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 very good in so much that you can use practically anything in it, um, and I think that that goes a long way when you are first starting out and and learning like I am, you know it allows you to uh, practice without having to get different books out and this that and the other, because obviously some books would only take certain things. Um, this is a beautiful image. Um, as always, guys, um, with the links in the description, if any of those books um, you want to make a further decision on and you need a flip through, then I am more than happy to do that for you. Just give us a shout in the messages or send me a message on the Messenger. And pretty much that sums up this book, guys. It's a really heavy book. Um, it's one I've been waiting for for a couple of months now. and. Um, I am so so pleased with it. Um, I think that the 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 concept of the book is quite unique as well because it mixes up comic strip um, with with other things. I'm just going to um, uh, check, catch up with the cat chat a little bit. I I used to mama. I used to go to uh, the ABC in um, in Huddersfield on a Saturday morning. Planet of the Apes used to be on there with, uh, I think it was a six million dollar man, and f fortunately we had um, Star Wars exactly airing. And so look, US Prime doesn't also doesn't work for UK shipping. Uh, I, I'm not sure, Erin. I mean, obviously, I, I can only put the links that that I um, that that it generates to me when I put my uh, details in. <laughs> but you can use UK Amazon, um, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, yeah, uh, Star Wars, um, you, I think that came on after, um, I think Star Wars came on after Empire Strikes Back, I think it was. It, obviously, from 77 to 81, between the first two films, Um it, you know they were still they were still in the cinemas as far as a, a pay hello canvas and color uh, uh, uh you know as as a as a, a crowd puller uh but then i think it was early 80s they did all three all three movies in in one city um which was which was really 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 good uh but yeah uh, six million dollar man used to be on planet of the apes used to be on and uh i think wonder woman with Linda Carter, and I, there was another film, and it's uh, it's trying to uh, it's it's trying to get its way into my head, and I can't remember which it was, but it was oh I'll tell you what it was, it was the Sasquatch Bigfoot uh, that used to be shown locally as well. Okay, guys, so this book uh, is Mythographic, Color and Discover Animals, and it's by Joseph Katimbang, um, Hello Loretta. Um, hi, Nana Moore. <coughs> Gaz, dude, how are you doing? Nice of you to come back, mate. So, I've got 80 in the house, guys. Uh, I'd appreciate if you could all give me a thumbs up, uh, so that I can uh, be visible on people's search facility. 
I loved watching the Six Million Dollar Man. Uh, he's been my doctor to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jennifer. Uh, uh, Steve Austin and uh, we, as a kid, I don't know if you remember them. But there was a, a doll, an action figure doll, um, that had a hole in the back of its head that you could look through, and it had a, a, a kind of magnifying glass built into it, so it, it made it appear as though. Um, made it appear as though it was uh, magnified like a like a magnifying glass uh it was absolutely phenomenal uh but yeah uh, th those certainly were the days do you remember that nikki yeah and i think you could change its shoes and its and its boots uh oh you've got me going now but i also remember at that time you could buy evil can evil the wind up bike and it just used to drive off anyway we digress so Mythographic, guys. This has been donated by one of my subscribers, uh, a beautiful lady. Doesn't want to be named, but um, what it has enabled me to do is give a book away in the next few weeks, every every week. Um, and um, and at least that way, uh, you know, there's going to be different winners. So I've never done the random generator before, but I have seen it. I can't see it being that difficult, but I will try and do it uh, towards the end of the stream. Uh, oh, thank you, Andrea. That's lovely of you to say. Um, uh, oh, man, that would have been just so cool. I know there was a $6 million comic, but oh, yeah, that would have been. I, I mean, I obviously keep my eyes out for the retro books because obviously Planet of the Apes and um, a couple of others that I've had, um, I've, I've, you know, gone out of my way to get them. Um but I know that Back to the Future is coming out really soon. Um, and I did notice today, guys, you're probably all aware, but I did notice today while we're on the, on the topic of new books coming out, that uh, Intricate Ink Animals number four is coming out soon. Um, so that's going to be something to look forward to. I, I, I'm the other way around, Brittany. I have the Dark Crystal, and I'm waiting for the Labyrinth to become back on sale but the two very very similar books but i love them they're they're, they're really really cool uh, and like i said um the back to the future one uh will be something that um you know that we could aspire to at least uh because it's got the 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 uh the guys at the delirium and all that kind of stuff so yeah christine um book number four is out soon i got a notification today <clears throat> okay guys so i'm going to be giving this away tonight uh it's going to be it's no competition with this one um but this is a a, a very similar style to kirby rose and you've heard it all before blah 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 uh, i'll give you my own kind of uh review on it the way that i think he's gone about this is that what he's done is um he he's put random objects in the middle a bit like a bit like the search and uh, search and discover facility on other books um but what is made as the uh in general the, the the objects that you do find are usually bright as in in general they would you know illuminate or show up for instance you've got a pendant a dream catcher a compass and a bird cage all metallic um and of course and there's also a magnet on this one so of course uh, who has the labyrinth? It was, uh, I think, just bear with me, Nana. Uh, it was. Do, 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 do. I can't remember who I was speaking to. Oh, it was uh, Brittany. It was Brittany. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm waiting for the publisher made him put put in those all right okay well wh whichever way whichever decision was made on that uh whether it was him or the publisher what it does allow you to do is color uh the pictures um you know whichever way you see fit and then of course the the hidden objects could be made to stand out i know um jen across at reading with pugs she did uh, a very unique idea and did all those in gel pen 
which kind of set against the rest of the joins and the finished pages. Uh, you could use that. You could use the um, what they call these these kind of things, the um, metallic uh, dual hybrid pens. I think there's about 16 of those that you can get. Um, so they they would be very cool to use for the small details. Uh, oh, you can, yeah. Uh, uh, as Erin says, you can just black them all out. That that makes a different contrast completely. Um, so. This is a intricate book, as Shannon has uh, rightly said earlier on. It's very similar to uh, Kirby's work, but I don't think it's it's based on his work. I think it's more of that this uh, this Joseph Katimbang has, has kind of um, just let his imagination flow, really, and you know whatever's coming to his head is drawn. Uh, you can tell that in particular with. There's one further down here with the uh, lizard thing. Just bear with me a second. I won't be able to find it now. But anyway, as as an example, the turtle here, the the random the randomness of the of the items just shows that I think that the his artistic flow was going. Uh, and of course, you've got the the old gramophone stuck in there. I mean, while you join a turtle, I don't, <laughs> I don't really see the link. A bucket and spade, uh, a wine glass or a goblet, and a, a seashell, that kind of thing. So you know, it's 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 a really really uh, well thought out. It is a beautiful book, uh, David. Yeah. Um. So yeah, regardless, it, it is a beautiful book. So I'm going to give that away tonight, guys, to anybody. Well, to somebody who gets uh, the number nearest to the number. Um, so that's that. Um, and then the next thing I want to show you, I've already got this book. Um, now, the, 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 this is called Watercolour With Me. Uh, I did a review on this about three months ago, uh, probably October last year of this book and um this has also been donated but it was donated for me to to be given to me but what the person said was that has donated it um is that if i had it or didn't want it then i could use it as a giveaway so i'm going to be doing that as well um this will be part of a friday giveaway as opposed to the feather castell giveaway uh, which is that, Christine? The watercolour with me, or the Joseph Katimban? So this book, guys, uh, like I said, uh, there's a few pounds knocked off in the uh, in the in the description where I've put the links. Uh, I won't do a full flip through, uh, but it's a beautiful book. It's on uh, watercolour paper. Um, it's by Dana Fox. Um, and it's got several techniques of how you learn how to watercolor. So, uh, so what what you've got here basically is a uh, a contents page, uh, and it goes on to talk about the different uh, techniques. I've already done a flip through of this, so I'm not going to uh, go into big detail about it. Um, but as you can see, there is stage by stage uh, watercolor uh, exercises to do. Uh, it gives you the colours that you need. And, of course, there is a description on how you get about the finished result. So it's a beautiful book. Um, it's one that would uh, lend itself to give you lots of knowledge in uh, watercolouring. And um, that's also going to be a giveaway, guys. So if anybody, if, if anybody does want uh, a flip through, then I'm more than happy to do it. Um, Oh, really, Mama? Oh, right. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, New Kids on the Block. And I did mention, I did see when I was looking for uh, the name of yours, Brittany, to to uh, give somebody the information of who was talking about the Labyrinth book. Somebody mentioned Stretch Armstrong further up. I mean, that is proper retro. Uh, <laughs> I... Um, I do remember that as well. So that, that was another blast from the past. So like I said, guys, there is a flip through of this on my channel. You can look back and watch the videos. Uh, but if somebody does want a particular flip through, 
I'm happy to do that, but this is going to be a giveaway as well. Uh, and then we move on to uh, Lizzie Cullen's Magical City. Uh, if you just bear with me, guys, while I take a drink. Yeah, I'll do you one, Kim. It's not a problem. I don't mind. So uh, consider that done. Okay, so Lizzie Cullen has done, I think, three or four books. And uh, this is one of them called The Magic City. Now, before going to the book, this is also going to be um, a giveaway, as I do have this book. Uh, this is a particular style that um, I hope me duck. How are you doing, Canvas? Uh, sorry, guys. Um, this is a, a particular style of of, uh, of illustration that you would have to get your head around. Um, it's, I mean, these are all cities, um, obviously, because the the name is in its title. But the way they are drawn, they're drawn very um, almost sarcastically and um, and mind blowingly. You know, like the. The kind of uh, psychedelia from the 70s and the LSD kind of thing. Everything's distorted. Everything is twisted or misshapen. But it's done with an intent. And I can see that when uh, people do uh, finish these images, they do look fantastic. I remember Petter Hewitt doing um, a few of these. Uh, obviously, this one's Cairo uh, with the pyramids and stuff. But I, I do remember... Um, yeah, I'm the same, Sammy. Uh, uh, yeah, and ink tense does it does it does uh, kind of stick out, doesn't it? Hello, Natalie. Lovely to have you on. Yeah, they do, Erin. I've not seen uh, Elena uh, coming in with Elena ones. Oh, I have actually. I know what you mean now. Yes, yes, but yeah, they, they have really gone to town on them, and they do look fantastic when they're done. Uh, obviously, they are double-sided which is a bit of a downer but the paper quality is really good uh, and as Aaron's already pointed out uh, they've been done with with uh, ink tents and what the you know they take water no problem at all um, and of course these just vary from city to city you could pick your favorite you could go through the book or you could take your own trip around the world it depends how you want to do it but this is also going to be a giveaway guys but I wanted to show you the book it's in it's brand new. Uh, it's in immaculate condition, um, and it, like I said, it's just been passed to me to use for the channel as a thank you. Um, you know, for, for me giving away stuff, and um, as a thank you for you know uh, doing stuff for the community. So, um, so yeah, it's it's it's, it's kind of um, getting on board with the Lizzie Cullen books. Um, Thank you, uh, Nikki. Yeah, thanks. It is a great book. Um, I have, um, I have, like I said, I have, uh, I have put links to the to the books, uh, as everyone's not going to be able to win one, of course. Uh, the next book I've been donated um, to give away is Millie Marotta's um, Tropical Wonderland book. Uh, we all know Millie Marotta. She's got her own unique style, uh, as you can see in this book. Um, the options open, in my opinion, in these books are that if you have OCD or you are a very meticulous colourer, you can have, um, you know, you can have uh, fun with this in so much that you would colour every little single space. Now, to do that obviously requires uh, a lot of concentration because it is very detailed. Uh, but what I've seen others do is do it in blocks or sets uh, whereby, you know, for instance, on this bird, you'd do the head, the beak, and the wings separate as a block colour, or even a block colour that fades out into another colour. Um, yeah, I think so, Victoria. That's why I've kind of uh, mixed it up a little bit in so much that, you know, we've gone from Planet of the Apes right down to, uh, you know, birds in, in nests kind of thing. So 
this book, uh, these are okay, um, but I don't think they're purposely uh, given for that reason. I think they're given to you to put your own patterns in. I'd just probably colour those, you know, normally. Um, but, but yeah, uh, let's have a look at the chat, guys. Nichols, hi, Dev. It's my first time on your stream. Happy to be here. Greetings, everyone. Uh, hello, Nichols. Um, if everybody could give Nichols a welcome, which is already a, on the way. Uh, thank you, Caroline and Morticia and Nana. Yeah. Um, hi, Nichols, Catherine. Okay. All right. You already know that is then, Christine. Okay. Hello, Marilyn. Not a problem. So, uh, again, this is a double page spread. You know, looking at it from a distance, you won't be able to really make anything out apart from the elephant. Elephants, plural, should I say. But again, it depends on what type of colorist you are uh, to to how you deal with the book, I think is the best way to do it, is to describe it. I mean, this peacock, for instance, huge double page spread. Uh, it would take an eternity to do every little section, but that's what some people like. So, you know, um, there's something for everybody. <clears throat> You'll have to excuse my voice, guys. It's going a little bit. I'm a little hoarse. Yeah, thank you, Captain Paste. I knew you'd uh, like that one. Uh, I'm 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 an ass. That's a little horse or a donkey. So, uh, so this is going to be another uh, giveaway, guys. So we've got at least three weeks here where we're going to be giving away a new book, and that's thanks to uh, a, a lovely subscriber of mine who wants to uh, share the joy in the community. This is the next book, but this one I'm not giving away. <laughs> I'm not giving it away. I'm going to keep this one. Uh, this is Fantasy Faces by Molly Harrison. Again, there's a description in the... Um, uh, sorry, there's a link in the description. If you turn the page over, uh, there are let's have a look, 25 images. There's a thumbnail of each one here. And the reason why I'm keeping it is because, obviously, uh, I'll be getting those sets of skin tones from Albert very soon. Uh, and I, obviously he wants me to do a review on the channel of them. And I, I can't think of a better book. You know, it's not overly expensive. It's not like I'm using them for the first time in something like uh, Girls With Poem or Girls With Music. It's a book that you can practice with. It's very, very nice, um, which is why I want to keep it. Um, so, you know, you've got a, a lot of hair technique here that you can use. Uh, if you watch Sammy's channel, I don't know if, most people will know Sammy is. She's a mod in my stream. She's done a, a magnificent mini series recently on on colouring hair with different colours. Things like this, you see, would would because uh, each portrait obviously has hair. Would um, so you could get a dual kind of um, option with this. Now, just on the uh, Black Widows, there's going to be some for a competition, um, which I haven't decided on yet. Uh, also, uh, yeah, Black Widow Skin Tones canvas. Also, um, Sammy's going to be receiving a set from me um, purely because uh, Sammy is, uh, uh, she uses portraits a lot uh, and it has dual meaning really in so much that um, I donate a, a set to her. She uses them on stream. I learn from it. It still gets the exposure because we'll use the same link. And... Um, and obviously, it teaches me a thing as well, because, uh, you know, I, I'm no expert in skin tones whatsoever. So th th there will be um, there will be several sets, and there will be one to win as well, guys, so don't worry. Um, the next book I want to show you that's been donated is this one. And these this is called Kew Gardens. Now, these can be easily written off as being a, uh, I know that they sold them in some cheap, uh, uh, some cheap, you know, shops uh, around the UK. I know you are something. I, I wouldn't have given you otherwise. Uh, but but um, 
This in particular inspires me, uh, especially for using uh, the polychromos. So I'm going to be I'm going to be using this book for the remainder of Faber Castell um, month, purely because um, this book has uh, a replication theme to it, in so much that in so much that you have the original flower on the left, and then you have uh, a bit like the Thomas Kincaid book. You have uh, the option to to copy it or replicate it on the other side. I'm going to be doing that live on stream for the rest of this month. I'm going to try and replicate the colours as close as I can. I'm going to use Arty, uh, the app that we discussed last week, uh, and I'm going to try and have a bit of fun with it uh, on the channel so that we can all get involved uh, and you know we can pick colours accordingly and try and come up with palettes that will. Um, you know that will go accordingly with the image uh just catching up with chat how about harry potter coloring books in so much what are you speaking to someone else christy or do you want me to is that a question to me love sorry guys i'm back i had to make the mother unit dinner she was complaining that she was hungry well that's nice of you to do that uh hello becky and steve happy friday nice of you to do that um it's it's very good that you look after your mum because you only get one of them and uh, i can tell you from experience that losing your mum is a bad thing so um so yeah guys i i am in no way shape or form a flower expert so I, i'm not going to start bullshitting you and telling you what these flowers are because i don't know however i i am going to be trying to replicate these as identical as i can The, the, there are several books in this series. I only thought there was one, uh, but there are actually four, uh, or maybe even five. This particular one is the Kew Gardens Flowering Plants colouring book. There are different ones. This one in particular, with it being a, a flowering plant, has the um, has the greenery in it, uh, so that you are able, like on the left here, you've got some that's faded brown and you've got browns into the greens i'm so going to look forward to doing that and they are bluebells are they thank you canvas <laughs> um you know so it, it, it it's a kind of uh, a learning exercise whilst you're you know whilst you're streaming uh, i'm not going to do it in any particular order um uh, what i'm going to do next friday is when we start this book i'm going to go through the images and I'm going to uh, probably name about 10 of them with a number. And then I'm going to get the audience to uh, pick the image that we're going to do. So that there's been no prior knowledge from me to come up with the colours or any rehearsal or anything like that. Uh, and we're just going to straightly use the RT app and try and come up with um, as close a replication as we can to the image. It's good paper. Um a lot of these are by Vincent Brooks, just to give him a uh, shout out. Uh, my throat is absolutely uh, raw, so you'll have to excuse the the voice, guys. <coughs> yeah, so do I, David. And um, people should be grateful uh, of that one woman you can never replace in your life. Um, so that's that, guys. So that's that's what we're going to be doing uh as far as going forward with the channel i'm going to be using polychromos i'm going to try and get these blends as close as we possibly can to the book uh, i know you wasn't <laughs> i know you wasn't um a canvas <laughs> oh dear yeah i think it's a good idea now yeah it's it's one of them where we can you know get together have a bit of a conflab um if you don't know what the rt app is christy uh, i i they reviewed it last week and i believe since then um dd uh, has taken it on board and there's also um a video on dd's timeline um that um that uses it so you can watch either or really um i, I think she's taken it on board and was inspired by that video too so it's really nice to know that people are watching 
Yeah, Amazon uh, Canada have released them, uh, but the picture that's on uh, their website on Amazon is not is not the packaging. We've that's not being done as yet. Uh, that's going to be done this weekend. So hopefully by next Friday, I will have uh, a picture of what they're going to look like when they get to the UK and the US. Um, and I'll be able to bring you that as well, guys. The next book I have as a giveaway is Yam Puffs Stuff. Yam Puffs Stuff. That's not a thing that I like to say. <laughs> oh, dear. So this is on CreateSpace Paper. I believe that there are a few of these. I'm not entirely sure. I don't have any of these. What I do like in particular about this book is that you have pictures of mediums here. You have the uh, the pastel blocks, the crayons, markers, pencils, paintbrushes, uh, oil paints, and so on. They can be used as a test palette uh, so that you can get the colors out there and your coloring. Uh, it makes it a little bit more interesting than just a, a plain circle uh, because you're actually coloring some supplies. It is fabulous, isn't it, Kimberly? Yeah, I, I, I love it, me. And, um, you know, to be, I'm going to challenge myself, obviously, with this Kew Gardens book. Um, but we learn and we, we make mistakes together. So what I want to do is, is really, really, really try and extend its capabilities on the app so that we can see how accurate it actually is. Um, you know, so that we, we, we can... Well, what we can do is, you know, we can learn together, can't we? Uh, and you, you know me, I'm, I'm, I'm all about uh, allowing the audience to audience, uh, the subscribers to, to have an input. It's, it's not just my channel; it's, uh, it's yours as well. So, it's really nice to, uh, to come up with things um, that we can all do together. Hello, Lynn. Ah, lovely of you to join us. Hello, Zeely. Wow, guys, 98 in the stream. I didn't realize it had got that busy. And 59 likes. So that's really good. Thank you. Um, this Yam Puff stuff um, that we've discussed, they are one-sided, which is an advantage. Uh, they are uh, kind of characteristic drawings. They're quite simple. Um, but, you know, um, there's quite a lot of this going on in, in, in the coloring world, isn't there? You know, um, You've got the, you know, you've got the, um, oh gosh. Anyway, you've got a lot of this kind of anime kind of stuff and a lot of uh, illustrators are doing them. Um, you know, they're good to practice and they're, they're, they're a lot of fun as well. Um, you know, so it's, it's Chibi, that's the one I meant, Chibi. That's the one, thank you, Sonny. So, you, you, you know, this is going to be a giveaway, guys. Uh, I'm not going to pretend I know anything about the book because I don't, uh, but it's it's in immaculate condition, and that's the way that it will arrive to whoever wins it. Again, that's going to be another week uh, in the pipeline further down the line. And then, as Grace rightly said, she's been spying. Um, <clears throat> there is a Timeless Beauties. Um, now, I know in particular, um, I know in particular that the... Um, a lot of viewers wanted this book, this book, and I know that the donator made uh, made it known to me that this was um, this was being given to me to give away because of the inability of some people to get hold of the correct books, um, obviously by by Momo Girl. I do have uh, Instagram. Uh, it's one of my mods will uh, put you a link in, Ashley. Uh, we can swap and share stuff on there with Feber Castell and any other stuff. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad, Brittany. So, some of you'll have it, some of you won't. What I would ask is that when we do. Um, when we do run a competition for this one in particular, that people who have got it or have got more, more gill, any of the books, don't enter this one. 
Uh, and that is by wish of the donator, really, because the reason why this was given is because of the shortage or the inability for people to share the work of more more girls so it's a beautiful beautiful uh book um i'm happy to do a flip through if needed i think there's quite a few on online um but it does give somebody a chance to to be able to experience the work of um uh kenny the, i've put i've put um a link in where there is currently 30 pounds off at the moment i think the one three something 130 something which is just over a pound of pencil for the big 120 set. Yeah, so I just, oh, you work with Colour in Heaven, do you, Canvas? Uh, I have got the Mika issue. I am a subscriber. So obviously the person who gave me this knew um, that I had it, but wanted to pass it on to you guys. So when I do run the competition for this, guys, just to reiterate, I would appreciate if you've not if you've already got this or got any of the more more girls stuff that you don't enter that one and give uh, a chance for somebody else to uh, experience it so that's going to be a giveaway as well and then finally guys i haven't made my mind up about this whether i'm going to give it away or not <clears throat> absolutely more tisha oh thank you carol that's lovely of you to say that that clipboard is from amazon um but if you look at sammy's channel she went shopping uh in the range the other day i think they've got them in there as well i don't know which is cheapest what it is pickle is a it's, it's got a carry handle on it it's got a, a clasp for your book or your uh image that you're using uh but then if you've got bull clips as well which i have uh, let me just make sure that's on the right side. You you can you can use your bull clip here to keep the page down and then put the top of the book on there. Um, yeah, it's on that shopping video, Mia. Um, I, I would, Brittany. It's it's. A, I think there's a fifty percent off at the moment, uh, and I think it works. I don't know what it, exactly what it works out at, but. Um, yeah, like like Sammy says, the Rangers got a few, but I got this off Amazon. Uh, the, the, there are a load of different sizes on there. Yeah, I tried using a normal clipboard, and they are the rubbish. I, of course, the job I do, uh, I use a clipboard every day uh, for, for, for my warrants and my paperwork and everything. And... What what I found with a lot of the clipboards is as soon as you put any weight in it or you get a substantial amount for it to clip down, you know, you pick it up and the whole thing just falls on the floor. So um, I have got a brand that's at the back of me thoughts, Rep Repesco or something like that, or Rapesco. They are the best if you want in a clipboard. Just <laughs> So anyway, back to the book, guys. This is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, a colouring book with the original Sir John Tenniel illustrations in it. Now, this is a different kind of take on Alice um, in so much that, you know, you, you, if you look at the uh, Alicia, Alicia Anastasia books, whatever she's called, the Italian woman, um, they're more, they're more cartoonified. Um, and then of course you've got your, your, your more sinister ones. This kind of falls in between the two. Um, it's, it's got quite a few filler pages in it, which I don't like, uh, and it may end up being a giveaway, but I've not made my mind up yet. But what it does have is, is a lot of <laughs> peculiar and, um, quite nice pictures that you could use multimedia on of course um and i quite like that the uh you know these what are you know showing uh, playing cards uh have faces and they've come to life uh, and i like the fact that they've not made them look pretty either they're quite uh, ugly looking um i, I do Carol too uh, i really really do like that 
Um, let me catch up with That's one from publishing and then that's it. Uh, I guess it works for some people, doesn't work for others. Uh, I, I, I have only disliked one, I think, that has been sent to me, and that was the native Indian book. I didn't quite like that one. Uh, but everything else, for, for what I've paid, I think it's been all right. Uh, but like I say, it's, it, it swings and roundabouts. Um, again, with these playing cards, guys, with the images, uh, this, this woman here looks a bit like Queen Victoria. <laughs> you know, it's um, it's quite a funny image. Um, you know, with the she's got, uh, of course, she's complaining, and then you've got this chap with the axe ready to wield it, uh, uh, and then it's got a bit of a oh, is Cheshire in the house because she's here. Look, she's in my book. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Uh, so here we have another good one. Um, I think this one would look really nice in watercolor. Um, but it's it, it it's it's a it's a kind of in between illustrated way of showing the story in between the the really dark sinister way that I've seen and the really cute fluffy way. Uh, I may well give this away, guys. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Um, but obviously, if I do, it will be a separate week to all the other ones. Um, and then we can get something uh, done with that. So, right. Let me just bring this one back in view of the camera. Right, guys, uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, let me get a pen and paper. I know my mods will be able to uh, keep track of the numeracy of it all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the random generator. When I type in, in, uh, in the stream, start, uh, if you give me a number between one and 150 and then anything before i type start um will not be counted so you have to wait for me to type start the word start and then you have to wait for me to type the word stop anything that comes in after the word stop will also be discounted so it's going to be a number between one and 150 let me just get the page ready, because obviously um, I've never done this before, so nothing is prepared. <laughs> so I do apologise, guys. But um, I also want to thank the person who has donated such lovely stuff. What I do want to say is, <laughs> uh, in part of that package uh, was two Turkish Delight bars, which somebody... Um, um, has has been listening because i love turkish delight and um and some uh uh what they called some caramel bars so they were very very appreciated uh let's have a look at chat um hello marilyn uh oh um uh you can donate either by um a super chat which uh is 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 on there or um you can um you can go to my wish list, which I'll put a link in after the stream. Uh, that's very kind of you to uh, to mention. Thank you very much indeed. I really appreciate your support. Uh, the guys might be able to put your link from my wish list in from my previous one, if they don't mind. Uh, so, is it called random dog, guys? Random. Random number generator. Hi, Darla. Lovely of you to uh, to attend. I'm not sure if the uh, some of the mods have 
not pick that up. Sammy, uh, could you look at one of my previous uh, descriptions and put my um, wish list up? There's somebody uh, wanting to know how to donate to the channel. Uh, obviously, I have explained that it can be by Super Chat or it can be by um, um, Amazon wish list. I don't like mentioning it, so. Um, but thank you for asking that person. I really, really appreciate it. Oh, she's taking the dog out. Okay, uh, Malticia, is that okay? Can you have a look for me? You might have to go back three or four, um, three or four videos to find the link. <laughs> no, nobody's on it, Christine. No big rush here. Hundred and one. Wow. Let's go, Janish. Let's go. So I will type it in start and I will type in stop. I'm just waiting uh, because somebody has obviously very, very kindly asked how they can support the channel. So I'm kind of trying to ask the mods to do me a favor of putting the links to um, either a super chat or my wish list up there so that we can get on with it. But there seems to be. Uh, a reluctance to do so. Anyway, guys, so when we get on with it, um, uh, it is open to everybody. Uh, I didn't... Uh, yeah, I just need a link for the wish list, please. Uh, no, I don't mean that. I mean the wish list that's in my videos in the previous ones, if that's okay. Thank you. So this book, uh, which we've discussed, is going to be the prize, guys. Um, if you look at this particular image here before we start, this one's got a, an old retro cassette, which is fantabulous. And then there's some 3D glasses in this one as well. So, of course, you know, you could make that very vibrant and, um, and stand out. <laughs> just bear with me guys I'll just I'll be back shortly just bear with me a moment please Shall be a minute, guys. Just uh, trying to uh, get something. I come
Oh, wow. Thank you, Marilyn. Absolutely. Thank you very much. I do keep the info in my, uh, in the info in the, in the tab. I don't put the wish list in prior because I don't want people thinking that's why I'm there. I always put the wish list in afterwards. <laughs> right, guys. I am going to write start now. And thank you very much, uh, everybody, for what you've done in the channel. So S-T-A-R-T. -T. Well. Don't forget, guys, this is open to anybody. It doesn't matter if you've got a channel. It doesn't matter if you have or you haven't. Um, by the wishes of the donator, it's for everybody to uh, to get involved with. And um, we want to uh, give as many people possible <laughs> can we have no chat please while the numbers are coming through it's very very off-putting hobbyist it's between one and 150 love thanks mort uh, i'm gonna leave it up a few more minutes so everybody <laughs> I like your style, Mark. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm going to give it another couple of minutes so that everybody's got an opportunity to, to enter. I'm not sure. Is there anybody that's still in chat that's not had an opportunity to put a number in? I see yours is the last, Marilyn. You've been uh, busy giving me some uh, donations, so thank you very much for that. Uh, is there anybody else? Oh, hello, Daisy. Yep, we've got another one. The minute I write stop, guys, that will be it. Anything that comes in after stop will not be taken as part of the... Um... Yeah, good luck, everybody. S-T-O-P. <laughs> Carol, <laughs> right, right on the cusp. Um, I, I'll allow that one because it was exactly the same time as I, I as I type stop. So that is it now, guys. I'm going to put another stop in. It is done now. So for my mods, uh, when we find the number, Carol's fifty four is applicable. Okay, guys. So. Um, Again, you will have to uh, excuse my uh, iPad screen. I use it for work, and it's quite a bit battered at the moment. So as you can see here, guys, um, it's between 1 and 150. Come on, focus, please. Is that That's not really very good, is it? my people come on i'll tell you what i'll do i'll put auto focus back on just for a second guys and that should uh, alleviate the problem just while we do this there we go so we have between 100 and 150 there and i am now going to generate the winning number is number 90 or the nearest to it so here we go guys the winning number is number 90. thank you more uh, i i don't i haven't got a photographic memory so i can't even remember one number apart from mort um so hopefully um pamela kane bang on Oh, that's lovely. She's a lovely person as well as Pamela. That's great. Bang on. Oh, that's fantastic. 
Well done, Pamela. That was uh, that was really really good. Uh, if you can um, send me an email, um, I'll just write it on here for you. So it's devwilcox at gmail.com. So that's D-E-V-W-I-L-C-O-X at gmail.com. If you send me an email, Pamela, um, much the same as uh, Nicola did when she won the competition, um, I, will, um, I will get this book out to you as soon as possible. If you send it me um, by tonight, I'll try and get it out for you tomorrow. Hello, Ruth Blackberry. First time live from Tasmania. Oh, it's lovely to have you here. Uh, that is a far, a far away place for me. Uh, welcome. Uh, and I'm sure everyone else will make you welcome too. <laughs> Hobbyist. <laughs> that tickled me that. Um, so if Pamela would like to uh, send me an email... I will try and get it out tomorrow because I'm working away again. So I won't be streaming Tuesday again, unfortunately, guys. Uh, but it is my last week away, I think. Um, so um, I will try and get it out. Uh, oh, did, uh, you're so honest, Pamela. <laughs> well, at least it worked in your favour. Um, so like I say, if you, if you get in touch with me as soon as, um, I'll try and get it out for you tomorrow because obviously I'm away Sunday until the following weekend so i i would have to rely on somebody else to get it out for me um but yeah that's uh that's a happy accident if ever i saw one pamela isn't it uh, i don't want any videos thanks me <laughs> dogs or or pussies or cats or anything uh i would much prefer uh videos of love and good wishes or videos of funny comical incidents <laughs> and just because it's the first time that I've done this, guys, um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to include uh, another gift for you, Pamela, uh, because this has been sent from a donator. Um, so when this goes away to you, uh, what I'm going to do for you is give you one of these to go with it. Back in a second, guys. <clears throat> there you go, Pamela. Uh, you have a pack of Crayola, Crayola brush tips. Uh, there are eight uh, markers in here. Um, they are the Pro range. You can't buy these. Um, so um, I want you to have these to go along with your book so that you've got something from me as well. Um, I, I would very much like to thank the donator, but obviously I can't do that. Um, but obviously it's a joint effort and it's, uh, it's nice. Um, yes, they do make brush tips. They do a, a standard range, obvious. They, I think you can buy on Amazon. Uh, and then these, which were brought out for illustrators uh, back in the day, I got... Whew, I must have got 10, 15 packets of these uh, to give away on the channel, which I have been doing slowly and progressively. Um, but I'd like to, you know, give give you something uh, from me as well, Pamela. So that's on its way to you. You send me an email tonight. I will um, I will get these out to you tomorrow, and then hopefully you'll be able to, um, you know, receive them while I'm away, and um, you know you can start enjoying them as much as possible. Okay, okay, guys, we've been on an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, and obviously, with the lateness of everything else, um, I'm not sure if I've got time to do anything else. Is there anything that's short and sweet that I can do for you guys that um, you would be happy to uh, watch on the channel? Yeah, uh, I, 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 you know, it makes it a joint effort, doesn't it, Marilyn? And, and, um, you know, I, I have got stuff of my own that I like to give away as well. Um, but, of course, in fact, what I'll probably do with the remaining packets that I do have 
um, when when it comes to giving the book away on the Fridays till they've run out, um, I will I will add um, a packet of the brush tips along with them. So uh, if you do win the book, um, you'll get a packet from me as well. So it's a joint effort. Yeah, I'll do that, Christine. Not a problem for you, love. <coughs> okay, so. Oh, thank you so much, Brenda. Thank you very much indeed. Mind officially blown. Thank you. Um, so this is the uh, Alice in Wonderland. I'm just going to do a little bit more. Do you want me to do a body popping dance? Not a cat, but there you go. Alice, uh, Adventures in Wonderland coloring book. Uh, the, origin, uh, the, the original Sir John Tenniel uh, illustrations are in here. It's a Macmillan book. Um, it's got a quite uh, weird kind of um, take on the things. Um, behave, guys, behave. Oh, yeah, I forgot to turn the autofocus back off. Get that bad boy off. Thank you very much, Christine. Thank you. There we go. So we we, um, we come to the book uh, itself. It's got a, a dust jacket that's made up of really high gloss. Uh, I don't know if the camera picks that up, but that is really glossy on this side. And it's quite the matte, smooth on this side with a with a gold embellishment of, of the title of the book there. Uh, the opening page is uh, the same as the cover, uh, but it allows you to colour that. Um, uh, and then, of course, you start with the illustrations. I did say that there, there is quite a weird take on on alice here um it's you know it's not for everybody but it is for some people i like this double page spread um you've got the rabbit with the uh the pocket watch and you've got all these dials and old-fashioned clock faces um you know that you could use gel pens on in gold or use watercolor on or you could even use the fine text if you've got them thanks sammy So you've got, um, then you've got a load of keys here, uh, which you can practice your metallics on. Uh, and then you have, um, like I mentioned earlier, the playing cards that have come to life. I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. This one is, is a, a dead ringer for uh, Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria. Again, very rubbish. But there are a few that I can do. <laughs> oh, gosh. So here we have um, another scene from the uh, story uh, with a lot of trees, uh, rose trees, and you've got Alice and, and obviously one of the cards. And then the Mad Atta bombing around without his shoes on that he's left behind. He's left the shoes behind here. And uh, of course the, um... <laughs> have you done Grace? Don't be, <laughs> don't be claiming that you've uh, inspired them when, when you start showing them. My lovely. Um, not sure what the significance is here with all the birds, but you've got, um, well, it looks a bit like a dodo, does that one? Uh, but then you've got an owl, uh, a parrot, uh, a swan, a flamingo maybe, an eagle. I couldn't tell you what this one was. It's got a huge bulbous chest. Uh, Sorry, guys, just catching up with chat. 
Yeah, it is, Kat. Um, uh, like I say, um, it's a very, very uh, unique way of looking at the story. But like I said earlier, uh, some of the ones I've seen are really, really dark and bleak. I haven't, uh, readily. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not blagging it or anything. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, it's not something I'm familiar with. I'm not going to pretend that I know anything about it. Uh, I'm just trying to sort of explaining and see what you know, saying what you see. A bit like catchphrase. I don't know if you remember that show. Say what you see. Say what you see, sir. So doing that, um, but no, I've not read Alice. So, um, uh, sorry, Christine. Um, th this uh, this double pager is uh, a wallpaper effect. Uh, it's kind of got the uh, the mad cat or the the cat Cheshire cat. Sorry. Um, <laughs> oh dear. And you've got the crown here. So. You know, we are looking at a, a quite unique book. Um, there's a lizard here. The, <clears throat> the good thing about these double pages, guys, is that the text is open to colour. So to make something really stand out, you could use, uh, you know, your really glitters or your, um, you know, your gel pens or things like that. And that, that, that would make the page as, as an entirety look a lot better and then pencil this uh you know it's just an idea and then christine we've got the um <clears throat> somebody smoking a sheesh pipe here uh, and alice is looking on on the toadstool yeah that's another idea yeah yeah really good idea christine Again, there's it's kind of a filler page that we've come across here. Uh, bye, Victoria. Thanks for joining. Yeah, hook a pipe. We have uh, Judge here, the judge. Who is also the king. So it is a nice book, guys. I'm not going to go through it all, purely because I'm going to give this away as well tonight. Um, it's not really, uh, it has been given for me to give out, but I, I did have permission to keep one or two if I wanted to keep them. But I am keeping the, um, I'll just find it, guys, so that you're all aware. I am going to keep this uh, Fanciful Faces. Uh, and this will fall in line with the new um, the new Black Widows, uh, the obviously skin tones. Uh, so will the Planet of the Apes. Uh, so I'm more than happy with buying that one and, and keeping this one. Um, um, I'm more than happy to keep this and, you know, keep the one I've bought to use. Um, so I'm more than happy, as, as first intended anyway, uh, to give away uh, this Alice in Wonderland book. So I'm going to do that now. Um, just with it being an extra to what we uh, first thought. So very much like last time, guys, and a number between one and 150. Um, nothing before I type the word start will be counted, and nothing after I type the word stop will also be counted. Um, so what I'm going to do is when I start, uh, when I type in the word start, this will be also with a packet of um, Crayola colour tips from me. Um, so at least that way then, what we do have is two full gifts, both with a combination of the donator and myself giving something uh, to, to, to the person. So when I, start, uh, when I type the word uh, start, everybody's entitled to enter. Uh, it doesn't matter if uh, you've got a channel or anything like that. Um, so good luck to everybody. I am now typing the word start. Get 
the icon. Thank you, Morticia. That is important, guys. So, so remember, guys, it's a number between one and 150. Um, I wonder if Pamela's going to put 90. <laughs> and I wonder if Morticia's going to put 150. But there you go. Um, there's no massive rush, guys. Um, I'm more than happy she has done as well. Oh, and Carol's just underscored with a 149. More than happy to wait a few minutes, guys, so there's no huge rush. Um, <clears throat> just as a memory server to the winner, uh, my email address is devwilcox at gmail.com. So all they need to do is email me, and I'll get both these books sent off first thing in the morning or at some point tomorrow. Uh, what I would like to know now, guys, is that anybody still in chat that's not put a number down? Has anybody gone to make a cup of tea or coffee? Has anybody taken the dog for a walk? I'm not sure we can wait that long. <laughs> nice one, Barbara. Nice one, Abel, to rejoice. I'm going to give it two more minutes, guys. Uh, just timing it now with my YouTube clock. Uh, so I'll be ending, I'll be typing in stop uh, in two minutes' time. And then the winner, let me just get another packet out for the winner. <clears throat> I still have about three or four of these packets to give away. Cool, like Barbara. The only thing... Um, that I ask is that the winner is a subscriber to the channel and that they like the video, of course. So just got uh, 50 sec uh, 45 seconds, guys, and then I will type in the word stop. And good luck to everybody. What I can do is just quickly show you what these pens look like because they are they are really nice they come in a, um, a black barrel that says pro on it and then of course the tip is extremely extremely fine if you can quite see that um, and I know there's only eight in there but they, they have the basic colors they've got uh, green, red, orange, yellow, blue, purple, brown, and black. You can only have one entry per person, guys. That's it. Right, that's it, guys. That's That's done. So, um, I must uh, try and remember to put the auto focus back on again. <laughs> put that back on for a second. We are finishing after anyway, so what's going on here? Wait. find them there we go so I've put the autofocus back on Can you still hear me, guys?
Good. Okay, I don't know what's happened here. It's um, it's kind of not letting me see things properly. Uh, I, I don't know what's happening with YouTube lately, but um, anyway, guys, I'm going to do this really quickly, um, just so you can see it getting done, and then I'm going to have to sign off because it's not showing what I'm looking at. If that makes any sense, something's gone wrong with the settings. So as you can see here, it's between one and 150. And I'm now going to press generate. Number 2020, guys. Number 2020. 2020. So I'm sure the... Uh, I'm sure the mods will be able to... Um, help with this uh what's happened guys is that uh, i've come out of the camera stream somehow uh so i'm running about five seconds behind what i can see on the screen so you just have to bear with me kiwi <laughs> nicola have you won again hey oh congratulations nicola Oh, so no, 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 no. Joycey has 19 as well. Okay. So we might have to have a playoff here. I'll leave it up to the mods because I can't see anything, guys. I haven't even finished video and there's three dislikes on it already. <laughs> oh, dear. No, if, if, if there's a joint answer, we're going to have to uh, play it off. It doesn't matter who put it in first. I did say that we had a certain time between start and stop to put them in, so somebody could have quite easily thought, I'll just nip downstairs and do this first. So, no, that's not fair. So, play off it is, is it, guys? No, it doesn't matter who's first. That doesn't, uh, has no significance. I can think of many reasons why, Carol, but never mind. Yeah, the, the reason is, Sammy, I, I did say between start and stop that anyone can write in between those times. Somebody could have quite easily thought, I'll just nip in the kitchen to get A, B or C um because i can hear dev in the background and he's not going to be closing it yet so i don't think it's uh fair to ever got to the keypad first when i'd specifically said there was a period of time yeah it is guys you're right so okay kiwi and joycey um we're going to do another start and stop and another number uh i'm going to do it between one and 25 so um the nearest to the number that we get when we generate the next number will be the winner i hope that's fair uh no 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 kiwi we'll, we'll, we're going to do it right um but that's very very commendable of you um so between 1 and 25 after a right start guys and then i'll do the random generator again Just bear with me Do, 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 do. Just those two, no more people putting, uh, no more writing, please, guys, just so that these two can um, put their entries in. So, S T A R D. Oh, well, so if Nicola and. No, 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 Abel. You, you... That's right, that's fine. So we've got seven and one. Okay. Uh, I hope you can see the um, the camera, guys. Like I say, there's about a five second delay on it at the moment. So I will try and I don't know what's happened to the settings. So between one and twenty-five. 
So I don't know if you can all see that, guys. It's between 1 and 25. I'm trying to hold it as still as possible. Generate. And the number is 18. 1818. Okay, guys. So the winner is Joyce. Excellent. I see what you did there, Nicola, and uh, that's very, 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 very commendable of you. Thank you very much for doing that. I, I, I've just realized what you did. You're a good egg. You're a good egg. Okay, congrats, Joyce. Um, I hope that you um, are happy with it, of course. Uh, what I would like you to do, uh, Abel, is to uh, send me an email and I will get yours off with your packet of pens uh, tomorrow, along with um, Pamela's package, which just for the people who weren't here is the Mythographic Animals package. I can see myself doing what I've just done, which is weird. Okay, guys, so um, thank you very, very much for joining me. Um, I can't make it um, on Tuesday because I'm working away. Um, I've really, really enjoyed it tonight. I, I, I love you all being part of the stream. Um, yeah, you can say... <laughs> You can send all the finished pictures to me or you can use the link that's in the description further back for my Instagram and um, you can um, tag me in those. Oh, thank you, Shannon, for saying. And thanks, Obvious. Uh, I, I have to go now, unfortunately. Um, it's been absolutely uh, lovely to uh, have spent some time with you again. And I will see, I'll speak to you all. I don't even know I'm going to stop this now. Uh, next, next Friday. Yep. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying to find out how, how I would stop this. But I'll suss away, don't worry. Let's all cut that one. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here, guys. Um, I'm having some technical difficulties. Um, so I will speak to you all next week, and uh, thanks for joining, and congratulations to the winners, and I will chat to you in stream. Goodbye, guys.